And we are back. So, what, Virgil's bad? Virgil, I think, prefers the demon world. I can't remember his motivations. Hmm. I think he wants power, or he wants revenge against the humans for what they did to his mom. Um, or the demons. I don't know. I'm, I can't remember what it is. It's probably been rewritten seven times. It's actually Devil May Cry is not like Kingdom Hearts. They've actually had a consistent plot all the way. Uh, I thought they it's went just, and redacted never, some of it. No, that's DMC. That's a separate timeline. So they did a reboot of the franchise with DMC, which came out um, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah, we saw this guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but now then, we're getting to the new stuff. But then uh, after that, they went ahead and just. Uh, trash that because they're like eh we're gonna go back to the timeline people liked because people didn't really care very much for With the young dante or whatever yeah they didn't care for the much new dante it wasn't exactly their um wasn't really their shtick they didn't yeah. really like his new attitude so wait i just saw on his guns that said ebony and ivory was etched onto him yes so one is an Eb ebony and no, one, one is an is. ivory they are. Um, Why would they have both names on both of them? Well, Ebony would be the black one, and Ivory would be the white one. Yeah, but that just seems kind of weird. Why would you put the name of its game. pair on the same one, you know? I don't know. I think they just did it for that, uh, I don't know. I like, mean, I, I would assume it would be canon, what they're showing, right? Yeah, I mean, technically it is canon. You, I think, though. I would just think that you would name one Ebony and have it etched in, and you would name one Ivory and it was etched in. It's like, oh, yeah, Ebony and Ivory, of Maybe course. Maybe they did like, just for that, so when they have it in the cutscenes, or, like, you can read the names of both of them, but I agree. It should probably just be on one and the other. Yeah. Yeah, have, a little, have a little uh, number set in the side, and one of two, two of two. <laughs> like, As they go through this weird graveyard. Like you go through on uh, the pages of books and stuff. Yeah. Finally, new content. It only took four minutes to get here. Ah, well, we could have skipped it, but we forget. It's been a little while well, since it's, we played DMC. It's confusing because uh, we see the same scene in different variations, you know, six, seven times. Ooh. It's like, have we seen this Kill variation yet? No, what up? And yeah, guys, it's a different recording session from last time. It's been two yeah. weeks, so yeah. I uh, didn't remember each a little Whoosh. detail and intricacy. Yeah, so we recorded this last Monday, I think was the last time, and then I got sick, and I was just like, couldn't record any extra stuff. How you? How you feeling now? I'm feeling fine. I think now it's just allergies. Ew. If I'm any stuffed up, it's just because it's the beginning of spring, yeah. the best time of year, which. I mean, I enjoy it as a non uh, I almost said uh, non calorie. As a non allergy uh, person. Yes, yeah, a non allergy person, it's great. Yeah, it's beautiful. The world's finally not being rainy. Oh, I love All the, rain. the time, anyway. So, wait, I, uh, one thing that's always confused me with allergies is that I would think when it rains, your allergies would slow down because all slow the down pollen is knocked bit. down. Yeah, it slows down a little bit, but sometimes it's just still bad. Yeah. Also, it might have been when that was happening. Um, I might have been you got sick at the same time. Yeah, like at first I was like, "Oh, this is just allergy season starting." And I was like, "Nope, it's a head cold. Much different." <laughs> and then now it's like, "Well, it might be allergies. I think the head cold's gone, but I don't know. Things are confusing." Don't know what allergies are like, man. The only time I had allergies is when I had penicillin, and I'm allergic to penicillin, so I almost died. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. Yeah, we were uh, up in the snow, and I guess I was sick or something, so my mom uh, got me some antibiotics, or that's what penicillin is, right? An antibiotic? Yes. It's a form of antibiotic? Yeah. One of the best ones. The and, best. And uh, she gave tower. it to me without, I think it was like two or three, and uh, I pretty much stopped breathing. I puffed up like a big <laughs> red balloon. They took me to the hospital, and then I had to go into the ER real quick because... They were freaking out because they were like, oh, yeah, he's a uh, he breathing restriction, you know? He's yeah, a, penicillin's gonna, one of those die. weird things. It's, you know, it's a really great one, but it's also, for some people, it's very deadly. It's not, not good to be allergic to. No, it is not. That's the best, uh... It's that's one the best of the better one right ones, now. yeah. I, I mean, I'm sure somebody's figuring out some better stuff now. I would hope so. Please, please do, because the super bugs are trying to kill us all. Yeah. Wasn't well, that how the super bugs get their jive? They just I think thrive. yeah. Everybody just took the all the uh, penicillin and they were they were uh, built up an immunity. Yeah, they evolved. Dun dun dun! They're like Pokemon. I think we're fine. I think science is finding new and better ways to deal with it, though. I would hope with technology, medicine gets better. Yeah, that's what one would you know. We need to hit it. We need to hit it with a little bit more variety because we attacked Ed them with Queen? just. Uh, 
penicillin, I believe. So they ended up building an immunity to some way because we relied over relied on it. And it's like, guys, we we can't just keep doing the same things like working that same muscle. Yeah, you know, it's you gonna can be spend, diminishing like, returns. You can build your arms up all day, but your legs. If you skip them, it's gonna look real weird after a certain point. <laughs> Fucking buff chicken man. Leg day. <laughs> Always skip it. Now I'm just seeing like giant germs with big old buff tops big and buff tiny tops little legs. And tiny little legs. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is though. They like got them to do all this calisthenics and they're like got their arms really in shape so they can do pull ups no problem. The real thing we gotta do is make them go run a marathon. That's the <laughs> new kind of medicine. Yeah. Make the germs run. Those short, stubby little legs, they ain't going to get anywhere. We don't want them to do that, though, because then they're going to be impossible to kill. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, maybe well, not. Well, then we switch it up. Marathon marathon runners traditionally aren't the healthiest, though. Well, we'll outlive whatever that is, hopefully. Marathon runners? No, the marathon running super germs. That oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be long gone. Yeah. I've uh, I've heard there's a whole bunch of uh, Unless problems. Unless we learn to freeze our heads in time and space and all that jazz. I'm going to need a big tank. I'm going to need a smaller one. <laughs> Mine! I need a lot of uh, head space. Um, now, I heard uh, marathon runners, uh, Power up! They're, they're healthy in the way of, you know, that they, they have great uh, stamina and everything. But I've heard that they wreck their bodies. It is not good for you to be continuously running marathons. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't imagine. I heard it takes its toll uh, pretty bad. Now, I don't, I'm not a marathon runner, so I don't know. But it's just what I've been told. Obviously, training for it and being able to do it is a fucking amazing physical feat. But at the same time, ooh, they're throwing eyeballs at you. Ew, gross. At the same time to... Go to your optometrist. He wants to see that, not me. <laughs> Tear your body down like that. It's, uh... I heard it can have permanent effects to be detrimental for you. How do I switch? Oh. There you go. It's been a little bit. And let me switch to my hands. Okay, I think I'm getting this. Yeah. It's been a little bit, and you only did the, the two episodes with Dante last time. Yeah, and I mean, part of it, too, is I'm not looking up better ways to play this game. I'm trying to keep this as fresh as possible. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're on easy mode, too, so it's just like, it's just for the fun. Got it. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, I'll do more challenging modes maybe later, but I mean, I've got a huge backlog of personal games. Yeah, on top of that, like, we, we gotta start completing games. Yeah, we, we got have a, a ton games. of stuff on the list like, right Like, I now. really wanted to record a bunch of stuff <gasps> for Dark is... What Ooh, the hell? Baby! I saw the triple question marks, and I was like, what is this? It's Lady's Missile Launcher. So... Oh, we get to play as Lady, right? Nope. Boom! No. Or was somebody saying you could in a past game? I think in a past game you could. Okay. Um, and this one, I don't think you do, probably because they were too busy making the three. But I heard this game sold well, so maybe they'll do some DLC later. I bet they will. It's fucking Capcom, man. Yeah. Whoop. They're going to do DLC. Capcom does love their DLC. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is it over here? It's over here. There you go. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You might want to stay away from that guy. He's, uh, he's bad. Okay. You know what? You know what he reminds me of. Uh, and I know we're mentioning other games, and it's like, oh, stop mentioning other games. We're we playing one game. Yeah, well, design-wise, oh. that guy looked like the uh, weird centipede-looking dude from uh, the temples in Sekiro. Where he had like all the weird red veins coming oh, through yeah. him, and he's unkillable. Uh, I just came upon that, and it was nasty. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some gruesome bosses in there. I get it though, you know, like you're trying to to draw demons or, or design Ooh. demons and stuff. You want some nasty stuff. Insects are one way to go. Yeah, no, they uh they definitely find some gruesome things. Not as gruesome and sickly as this game, but pretty gruesome. Yeah, I mean, they, they, these games both are designed hell of well. Yes, like they no. visually look really stunning. Visually, for both they of are them. fantastically designed. Yeah, outside of cutscenes, looks almost as great as inside cutscenes. Just regular battle. Ew! Oh, hello! Ew. Ew. Uh, I, I think you're, uh... No enemy. I think oh. you might have a case of worms. I don't it looks, know. It looks like he can stretch his, uh, his limbs out. Is he making a line in the sand? Oh, no! He's, He's summoning. summoning demons. Lesser okay. demons. That's a, that's a little bit different. Yeah, I think he got him though. Yeah. Ah, Demon Hill. Horde Commander Hell Jedica? 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 Oh, just he's, he's a dead guy. Oh. Hell dead guy. He got him though. These guys are easy peasy. It's almost like we're playing in easy mode. Ah, nah. <laughs> or technically, I'm just that easy good mode. At the game. Easy mode comparatively, although it's really just normal mode at this level. 
Yeah. Sam, why didn't you increase your health and your stance and stuff? I don't think I can. Come on, man. Like, you obviously need all that extra health. <laughs> Or your demon trigger, not stance. I think if it's there is a way to, I thought the only way in this game was just by grabbing the orbs. Um, can you like buy health upgrades and stuff? I don't know actually. Huh. I've never bothered looking honestly, because I've just I haven't needed it. Oof. If I was gonna upgrade anything, I probably would have just gone for um, I think more the, skills. And I think abilities. the skills and stuff are the better way to go. Make the yeah. game more fun. Give it more variety. I mean, look, you have full health. We're not playing it again. We're not playing in hard mode. Yeah, if I was on a harder difficulty, I might need it. Yeah. Um, this is just for the fun, though. Punch it. Well, that's gonna collapse. Oh, called it. Well, you gotta Dante's fight. been around for a while. Well, you, you gotta fight on it, and then probably drop down a level, and then keep fighting and drop down a level. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Ha -ha. He was gonna do so much damage to you. Back <laughs> punching the shit out of him. Yep. <laughs> just, just, uh, oh. uh, B spamming or whatever you would want to call it from like a fighting game. Yeah, it's, it's weird because these games have usually only one button. I'm mm -hmm. trying to remember that I have two. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it's for two plus any kind of style swapping or whatever. Yeah. You want to call it for Dante? Not that there's not complexity, it's just when there's fighting games, I usually have medium and hard buttons. I have to remember, yeah. it's like, oh, right. Rotationals and stuff. Yeah, there's, uh, you have to hit different buttons and move around. Too much around. for me. Too much. Fighting games are not my style. Oh, get him! <sighs> gotcha. Have you, oh. uh, I was gonna say, how do you use that, uh, RPG launcher, rocket missile, whatever, very much? And I'm seeing you using it a lot more now. Is it just the one thing, or do you have different styles for it? I think it's just uh, one. It's like a auto stun or something like that. Something to break them, probably. Oh, that's right. You can probably parry in this game. I mean, you look like you did. It looks like I did. Yeah. I, think I don't I know did. if that's how you did it, or you oh. punched at the correct time, or whatever. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, there's more. They're gonna bite you. You know what? They're my. Whoa! What the hell? They remind me of uh, the necromorph uh, things from Dead Space. They uh, little flappy Let's do a things. Little sword. Little flappy things that would come down and like stick their tail or whatever tendril into the person and turn them into a necromorph. They look a lot. I never like played that. Dead Space. I was too afraid. It's uh, it's good, but it's kind of scary. I mean, like for for back in the day, it was definitely one of the scarier games uh, at the time. You didn't have a whole lot of uh, that style of horror at the time. And I think the designers really went out of their way to make it super scary too. I, I watched a, it was a while ago, so I might not, might not remember it 100%, but I watched a thing where uh, they were talking about the design of audio and visual mm. and why they designed some of the bosses to really like be a horror aspect and bring about like certain fears. I'm like, whoa, that's gonna explode. Whoop. There you go. Got him. Um, it was interesting. Uh, but then Pretty when bits. I think it was Dead Space 3, I think it was. Uh, something happened where it really, it really failed. I don't know if they took away a lot of the. I think they took away a lot of the horror. I remember that being a big aspect because they tried to make it more of an action game. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know if Whoa. it's even the same people who made it, or maybe the. Oh, it was still maybe, Visual Studios, I think. But it, was it the same guy who originally developed it? Because it was so different for some reason, and I, I, I thought I heard that it was directors because, changed. Yeah, yeah but I think, I think that was pressure from had, EA to make it. This is a good franchise. Let's change it to like something that it's not, so yeah. the people that liked it won't buy it. It's brilliant, brilliant marketing. I played number one. I don't think I played number two. Too, and I definitely didn't play number three. Yeah, uh, I heard two definitely changed some things. Be like, oh, I don't know if I like where this is going because it became more actiony and less horror. Mm. But it still had enough of it that people were like, I I can dig it. I can get behind it. Yeah. Um, but three was so far removed, and the end of the story I heard was just bad. I uh, I heard that the story was really kind of the bonkers. only way to increase your vitality is just by buying blue orbs. But... Oh, so you can find them and you can buy them. Yeah, okay, like, okay. I don't know. I don't know. They're pretty cheap, though, you know? Well, they're pretty cheapy, but... You always uh... could. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Beep, bop, boop. I guess that only does it by a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's one more trigger, though. You, you had only, uh, what, five triggers, and now you have six? Something like that, yeah. At least the purple orbs. I don't really think you need the. No, spend the but money I figured I'd, I'd up it a little bit. Yeah, I would think maybe devil trigger more, but probably yeah, not, I did probably not health trigger. as much. Probably not.